I was just giving my cat the death glare because I saw her heading to the litter box. I swear to God. They, they have that litter box available all the time. And it's only when I turn on the camera that they're like, hey, you know what I should do? Poop, pooper. Also, my hair has officially entered the pixie is growing out process. So you're gonna ignore everything that is happening here. <laughs> I, put, I hope I put enough makeup on so you can focus on my face and forget my hair, so. If you wanna get a pixie cut, get a pixie cut. I 100% recommend it. But let me just tell you, the growing out process, why do I do these things to myself? Anyway, I have a tag. Hi guys, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Mini Reads, where I talk about books and things. And before I get into anything else, I just want to say thank you for everybody that commented on Twitter, that DM'd me, that left a comment on my last video about how I'm not doing okay and it's okay not to be okay on booktube. Um, I, I wasn't sure that I was getting like my point across with the whole idea of you don't have to be a happy, preppy, go lucky person to be on booktube. I, I wasn't meaning that anybody that isn't like that is annoying or anything or you know like they're not being genuine because I do believe that there are a lot of just people that deal with their problems or whatever it is with a happy, go lucky attitude. I just happened not to be one of those people <laughs> and I guess um, it really warmed my heart to see a lot of people say hey I've been feeling the same way and I was feeling like I like was like moving away from the booktube community because I didn't feel like my personality at the moment was fitting the mold and I'm here to tell you to fuck the mold like always what are you doing see my, my even my letter board is like fuck the mold but yeah Let's get right into the video now. So, I was tagged, I was like, look, whenever I watch one of my friends do their tags and I'm like, is she gonna tag me? Is he gonna tag me? Are they gonna tag me? Mm. And then I'm watching till the end to see if they tag me. <laughs> yeah, I'm that person. Um, so, uh, Jesse from Bookish Mom, whose link I will leave up here, but I always try to leave link links up here unless I'm like scrambling to get videos out and then I can't, but I always try, so. Jesse, here's your link. Um, <laughs> uh, she did this uh, tag called, uh, what is it called? 20 questions book tag. Now you guys know I have done a 50 question book tag, which I will leave up here, but I thought the questions were different enough that I could do them. Also, again, I am not reading a lot and pushing out content, even though I love filming content, um, is a little bit difficult right now. So a bookish tag is like, Yay! <laughs> no, no, I really like the question. So anyway, this it's been like four minutes and I haven't even gotten to the tag. So let's get right into it. So there are 20 questions. Let's start with number one. How many books are too many for a series? Now, here's the thing. I hate series. I really don't like series. I do not like series. But it depends because, for example, if the books are short, then I say about, you know, I could do, I could probably do 10 books. And when I'm talking about short, I'm talking 150 page books. If the books are long, then first I don't want to read them because I don't like to read long books. And then second of all, I guess because my favorite series is The Monster Monologist and it's got four books, I'm going to go with four books. So, uh, but usually three. I like like three is like the perfect number. I think the monstromologist is just special because it is special. Why aren't you reading the monstromologist? What the fuck are you doing? All right, number two. <laughs> How do you feel about cliffhangers? No, 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 I, no, I don't, no. We don't play that game. Umbrella Academy season two, here's me looking at you. Fuck that, I don't like that. Like, I am okay with cliffhangers if, like, the cliffhanger is like, okay, the other book is already out and I can just get it and read it. But if you leave me waiting for years for this fucking cliffhanger, then I'm gonna get angry. You see how angry I am? You see? You see that? Yeah. No, I don't like cliffhangers. Also, have you noticed that most cliffhangers are, like, not satisfactory? Maggie Seawater. Anyway, question number three, hardcover or paperback? I'm a 100% paperback girl. Number one, they're easy to carry around. Number two, I like the floppiness of them. I like that I can like, like, I know. I know some of you just cringed. 
and part of me like enjoys that but like i can like do this let me get a paperback and do it okay so here is a paperback and i can do this to it you see that you see you see how that that is what dreams are made of favorite book oh this is hard why you guys make me pick favorites but you know i'm gonna say born by jeff vandermeer I, you guys know that there is another one, but I always say Born by Jeff Vandermeer now because you can't find the other one in English, so. Born by Jeff Vandermeer. Least favorite book. Oh my god, okay, so here's the thing. Do I have to have finished it? Because I DNF'd, uh, what is it? A Darker Shade of Magic recently, and I was like, you know, Black Mirror? Like, I like the concept of Black Mirror, but I get so anxious watching Black Mirror. Black, but Black Mirror is actually good. I don't think this book was good. This book really, like, it, like, ripped off Naruto. It's so bad. I hated that book. Love triangles, yes or no? I don't care. Uh, love triangles for me are, like, whatever. Um, I think it's because I never got into Twilight or The Hunger Games. Like, I was not I didn't read any of those books so for me the love triangle thing has not been like overplayed and stuff like that because I didn't really read YA so I mean if there's a love triangle in there I mean I'm cool with it you know as long as it makes sense it's not like just thrown in there just because we needed some tension or something I'm cool with love triangles number seven the most recent book you couldn't finish Emma by Jane Austen I kind of decided that Jane Austen is just not the author for me. I think she has a beautiful writing style. I think she's a great author, but she's just not the author for this gal. I mean, look at me. Do I look like somebody that reads Jane Austen? I don't know what somebody that look, that reads Jane Austen looks like, but I assure you they do not look like a space pirate. I mean, there might be space pirates that like Jane Austen, but it's not me. A book you're currently reading if you see my weekend reading blog, you'll see that I'm reading Horror Story by Grady Hendrix. And I'm really, really enjoying it. Finally, I'm like enjoying a book. It's great. Number nine, last book you recommended to someone. Do You Dream of Terra 2 by Tamiyo? Because I recommend that book to everyone. Did I just recommend it to you? I think so. Number 10, oldest book that you've read by publication date. I'm gonna go with... I think this one should be it. Yeah? Um, A Study in Scarlet. Is it? Wait, or is it Jane Eyre? Is it Study? I don't know. I don't know books. No. You know what it is? It's going to be the Iliad. And it, it's not here. It's over there. I'm not going to go get it. But um, definitely the Iliad. 11. Newest book you've read by publication date. I'm really bad at this, you guys, because I don't follow publication dates um something new that i read okay i'm gonna go with this book i'm not gonna get it out because this is the tetris shelf and it's called down the hawk by moggy 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 by maggie Stiebotter, which i promised myself i wasn't gonna read and then i read it and i actually really liked it <laughs> favorite author here's the thing um i don't know if you guys know but i went to film school and I don't have a favorite director the same way I don't have a favorite author because it just depends on the book. I'm not somebody that reads somebody's entire work and is like, I love it. Because for example, um, I love I love the monster <laughs> I love the monstermologist by Rick Yancey, but then he got the fifth wave out and I, it was like it broke my heart. It was so bad. And then I love Nnedi Okorafor, but then the third Binti book was so bad. And then I love Jeff Vandermeer's Born. And then I, uh, you know, that's basically the only book that I like of his right now. <laughs> so I really don't have a favorite author. I don't have an author where I'm like, everything they write, I will read. No, I don't. It's, 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 it's kind of hit or miss, you know? It just depends on the story, whether I like the story. If you ask me an author whose entire work I have read and so far I have liked, I would say Becky Chambers or N.K. Jemison. Those would be the ones. But I mean, at any moment they might disappoint me, so. <laughs> it's just 
because I just don't focus on the author. I'm one of those death to the author person where not death to the <laughs> that was real like extreme. But it's like I, I want to enjoy the story not because of who wrote it but because of what the story has to offer. So really I don't have a favorite author but if I had to go by what I've read and what I've liked it would be M.K. Jemison and Becky Chambers. Buying books or borrowing books? I love buying books but... We all know I'm a, on a book buying band, so I guess I'm borrowing them from now on. A book you dislike that everyone seems to love. Oh my god, we could be here for hours. I didn't like The Hunger Games. When I read Divergent, I bought Divergent and I was like, I'm gonna be like all the booktubers and read Divergent. I thought I had like I thought that I bought a parody of a book, but I was actually reading the real book. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if you really like Divergent. Um, I didn't, yeah, didn't like The Hunger Games. I, I, I don't like most of, I don't like the Harry Potter series. Again, when I was reading them, I was like, wait a minute, is this the actual book or did I get like a parody of a book? So yeah. I'm just a hater, y'all. Okay, number 15, books, bookmarks or dog, or dog ears. Um, I don't care either way. Unless it's somebody else's book. If it's somebody else's books, then I'm definitely gonna use a bookmark. Um, I don't, I, I don't like the the magnetic bookmarks that Jesse really likes. No, they're not for me. I hate them. I don't know why. <laughs> Just, I really don't like them. Also, here's your daily cat in the litter box break. We'll be right back. cat did she literally just got in the litter box sat there did nothing and got back out I swear it's a thing with the camera but anyway as I was saying I um, if the book is borrowed I definitely definitely use bookmarks or you know my glasses or whatever I have or sometimes I memorize pages I'm actually really good at memorizing pages so I'll just memorize the page I'm at um, I also try to finish like on eat like like um, multiples of five so it's like I'm either on page 10 15 25 so it's um, like that um, but yeah I, I, I don't mind dog earring as long as it's my copy of the book and nobody else's a book you can always reread I have so many you see this shelf this is basically books I would always be able to reread but I'm gonna go with my gut on this one and I'm gonna go with the shadow children um, series and also the one blood trilogy these books these books bring me joy, okay? Like, Marie Kondo understands that these books bring, like, they spark joy out of me. No, really, the the, the, the Search for Wanda series, I, I, I adore that series, so I'm gonna go with that one. The next question, next question, question 17 is, uh, can you read while listening to music? If the music doesn't have lyrics, I also have this thing where if I'm reading in English, I can't listen to music in Spanish, French, or any other language that I might understand um, if it has to be English. And even then, I don't like reading with music. Actually, fun fact, I don't like music that much. Like, it's not that I don't like music, but I would rather listen to other things that are not music. That's why I watch so much YouTube content. 18. One, po one point of view or POV or multiple. I don't really care. I, I guess... I don't really care. I, I'm, I'm indifferent. I, if, if we're following a few POVs, that's great. If we're following one, that's great. I used to be like a strict only one POV follower, but the Shadow Children uh, series changed that for me because we switched from POVs and at first I was like I'm fucking hate this and then I was like I fell in love with the other POV and then I was like switching back and forth and I was so happy and then at some point they meet up and I'm like oh my god yeah I'm very intense about that number 19 do you read a book in one sitting or over multiple days I am not a fast reader y'all like it takes me forever to get through 100 pages so um definitely a multiple day reader I read a book in one sitting but we're talking about me sitting for six hours and taking breaks like in between like that's how I read um, Magic for Liars like I sat down and I did read it in one night but that was like 
six hours or eight hours of my life and like I stopped and I talked to my mom and I had coffee and whatever. So I'm definitely not a one sitting kind of gal. I wish I was. I've always wanted to be like this girl that has like a special chair where, where she sits and just reads and reads and reads. But I, after about an hour or two, my eyes get tired, my brain gets tired and I can't do it. And question number 20, who do I tag? I tag, um, Lena from Sufficiently Advanced Lena, then I'm going to tag Therese from Bookish Therese. I'm also going to tag Kayla from Books with Kayla. I'm going to tag Sarah from Voyages Through Worlds. I'm going to tag Z from You Can't Catch Z. I'm going to also tag who else? Who else wants to do this? I'm just going to tag a bunch of people. I'm going to tag Ramsey from Rajathon. Um, I'm gonna tag, um, Angela from Literary Science Alliance. I'm gonna tag Clem from The Villain's Quest, which, whose channel name I love. I'm just gonna tag all those people. And I'm gonna also gonna tag, uh, Lee Sam from Lee Sam Loves Books. So there you go. Um, I'm gonna tag all those people. You don't have to do it, but I'm also gonna tag you if you wanna do it. To say when you read the tag you. That's it. That is the 20 question bookish habits tags. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed filming it. And once again, thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you guys for commenting. Thank you for liking. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to help to hit, not help, to hit that bell icon. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for being here. And without further ado, I bid you adieu with a friendly reminder that I post every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And that it's okay not to be okay. And that I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.